So do you recognize the voice of the Good Shepherd? Well, yesterday I explained what we need to do, and I'm going to go in a little bit more depth on how we can hear His voice and always follow it, here on Heart to Heart with Deacon Mike. Yesterday I spoke from the Gospel on the Good Shepherd and talking about life and eternal life and how we need to hear Jesus' voice. And in essence, John's Gospel yesterday is not just about life after death. It's life that begins here and now, as I said, and it's knowing the one true God and Jesus Christ whom God had sent. It's knowing the voice of the Good Shepherd who truly cares for us. It's a life in community. Uh, yesterday, we had Mass, and it's a virtual Mass. And it struck me how, as a community, we can get together, even virtually, to celebrate the Mass, to be in that true community, to listen to the Good Shepherd's voice. See, it is life that abounds in meaning and value and endures even beyond death, that in our community, when we live in the Mass and we know Jesus, is when we find how we can hear his voice. Yesterday morning, I was part of a virtual mass, a virtual Zoom mass, um, how our friend, Father Enzo, who serves in Haiti, um, had this Zoom mass where we could actually all participate. And it struck me as I was looking at all these people participating, what a beautiful community it was to be a part of that Mass, to be able to, to vocalize being part of that Mass and listening to the Good Shepherd. Because in essence, the priest is Jesus, and to be able to be connected somehow in this time, this pandemic, that's going on, it opened our hearts to be able to hear his voice, even in a small Zoom mass, it put everybody in the right state of mind. So yesterday in the gospel, in my homily, I said, uh, I believe we have lost his voice well, even before this pandemic was going on, I believe in some respect we've closed our hearts and our minds and even our souls to his voice. The, as the gospel spoke about thieves and bandits, those thieves and bandits are the outside world uh, pulling us away from the Good Shepherd. And, you know, we've gotten so off track that we lost our ways in some, in, in some people. And, you know, some of us are trying to find our way home, but uh, the world continues to pull us away and we get distracted and we just don't hear his voice. We don't take time to hear his voice. And, you know, some of us feel like there's no point of return. So yesterday I said, how do we recognize the voice of the Good Shepherd over all those voices that promise abundance. And how do we hear his voice again? Uh, and yesterday I said uh, I challenged everyone to pray in a different way, to read scriptures. Um, and God does speak to us uh, through scriptures and to take time to spend time reading and 
opening our hearts again, opening our minds, and even reading out loud the scriptures to hear what he's saying to us. You know, the scriptures are filled with so many stories, you know, especially in the New Testament when Jesus gives us those parables and poses questions and for us to read it gives us a chance to hear him and what he's saying you know oftentimes we think of the bible as archaic in a sense because all oh, was written so many years ago centuries ago and you know we are like well is it really relevant well if you truly read scriptures Everything that's in there is so relevant because we still go through it today. Because that Bible, the scriptures, is really outside of time because it is good for all time. It, it reflects what we're going through. I don't know about you, but how many times have you opened up scriptures and read something and it's like a plank to the head, like, wow, I'm going through all this right now. And by reading it, by listening to those words, by continuing to pray over those scriptures and those words, uh, God gives us that chance to hear his voice and then help us and lead us in a direction that we need to go. You know, the Holy Spirit is there for us. We just need to reach out and say, Holy Spirit, you know, give me the wisdom, give me the understanding to help me in my life, in my daily things that I go through. And it's such a clear way to hear his voice his inspired words, really. And, you know, it does take time. Yesterday, I spoke about relationships. When you have a relationships, relationships take time to build. And it's no different with having that relationship with God, to hear his son's voice. We need to spend time with him to have that conversation. Yes, a different conversation, not like our friends where we actually hear them or can text, text them, but it's a conversation nonetheless because we can still hear his voice if we're open to it. So, you know, in scriptures, we need to take the time. So, you know, taking time every day to open up a good book and to read a few scripture verses and then contemplate over them. You know, take that time every morning or afternoon or evening, whatever that good time is, to read it and listen to them and to ask the Holy Spirit, what are these words saying to me? How can I apply them to my life? And if we do this every day, we begin to hear his voice. The noise from the world begins to subside because we're focusing on the words and not everything around us. Not easy because the world makes a lot of noise. And think about it. When we go to Mass, how many times have we focused on the mass and then the next thing you know we're thinking about something else and we're like oh you try to refocus again the same thing's going to happen we need to practice over and over again to to listen quietly and open up our minds so we can hear his voice and in the same way our relationship with god is built during the time we spend with him in prayer. Yesterday in my homily, I said two aspects, reading scripture and prayer. And in some 
ways we have to put that effort more with him than any other relationship because he's not there he's there but he's not there so to to spend that time in prayer is not easy either and you know a lot of times we have to uh, again focus focus you know pray and when our minds wander we have to stop ourselves collect ourselves and can you continue to pray you know certainly even praying for guidance in prayer the Holy Spirit help me to pray and help me to clear my mind so I can focus on the prayer itself uh, you know praying is just not words but it's something that we're saying to God it's a conversation it's a relationship and our prayers can be in many different ways yesterday I said spending time in front of the Blessed Sacrament in adoration of course we don't have that opportunity now although we do have it virtually and we can spend time find that time what's nice about virtually you can do it anytime it's there it's recorded and you can spend that time you know praying is that intimate conversation with God and when you open your heart and talk to him in prayer it's it's very intimate you know you're opening yourself up it's never easy to completely open yourself up even with a good friend because you're always guarded and Jesus is saying I'm here you know let it loose and in that constant prayer you find that friendship you find that intimate friendship almost like a marriage you know you have that intimacy and the same thing with prayer whether you're praying those prayers that are given to us by Jesus the Our Father uh, our Mary prayer um, or just praying in a conversation when we constantly pray and we just don't have to pray once during the day we can pray all day hey Lord I'm struggling today help me get through this that's a prayer a short prayer or a longer prayer where you're in your room quietly maybe a candle lit and you're in tears because the day was just horrible and you're opening yourself up to him those are the types of prayers that Jesus wants to hear he wants that relationship with you he wants that time with you and when we can spend more time than just a few minutes every day it becomes natural and spending that time becomes almost you're anxious to do it because you have that connection so starting today why don't you blow off the dust on your Bible open it up to the New Testament maybe even pick today's readings and start there reading the gospel and sitting and listening and asking the Lord for guidance to open your ears so you can truly hear the Good Shepherd hear his voice and spend time in prayer praying reading scriptures how can you go wrong even for you know a little bit of time every day it certainly helps to keep you at peace because they're Jesus words so listening praying reading and knowing his voice and hey let me know how it's going um, you know 
send me an email. Um, you know, just shout out saying, hey, I'm struggling. Or, hey, you know what? This is good. Let me know. I want to hear. This is uh, Deacon Mike from Heart to Heart, from Holy Family, wishing you a, a good day. Peace.